Good morning, everybody. So here is part three of making this monster prop. Um, this is right out of the lathe. And in order to make it the length that they wanted it, I have to hand finish the tip. So that little block that's normally, I just cut all that off. I actually had to shape that into the tip to give it the extra length that it needed to be. Here you can see the hub. The hub is also one of those things that my machine could only do a four, four and a half inch hub and they needed a six inch hub. So I glued these extra pieces on after it came out of the lathe in order to give it the hub thickness that they needed for their setup. So that's not the ideal way to do it. It is, uh, and it also doesn't look as pretty as I wanted it to look, but it, I did get it done. <laughs> you know, it was, it is, um, it's an option is how I have to do it because of what I have to work with. So that's what we did. So here I am cutting away all that extra. And this is a little cuts all grinder and it is probably one of my favorite tools that I've bought. It's definitely one of my best purchases. It takes off the material, but you have a lot of control with that. A lot of the ones that I've tried in the past, whenever I've used them, they grab in so um, aggressively that it threw the grinder out of my hands. Like it was, they were kind of scary. This one, I have a lot of control. It takes off a lot of material very quickly, but not in a super out of control, aggressive manner, if that makes sense. If you've you know, messed with these at all. I'm sure that makes sense. But anyway, um, it's very user friendly. It's just got a bunch of little metal spikes on it. And I believe you can get them in different, um, levels of aggressiveness, but I think this one's the medium, but it works great. And this was hard to pick up and hold while I was doing the drum sander. So everything that I could take off with this and shape with this, the less I had to do on the drum sander. And that was really good because it, it, it just takes a lot of strength to hold something that size up. I think it was like 20, 30 pounds, something like that is what it weighs, which that's really not that much, but holding it at that awkward angle is difficult. So this little at cuts all attachment was definitely a lifesaver. Okay, there looks much more like a prop <laughs> so as you can see it did a pretty good job uh now i um i went ahead and sanded the blades here because like i said it's a heavy prop so any weight i can take off now um i don't have to you know fight when i take it to the drum sander so i went ahead and sanded out the blades normally i would have done the hub and then went straight to the drum sander but i did it a little differently on this one because well this just isn't a normal prop. <laughs> and it's mahogany, so it's sanded out, you know, super easy. It's really great. The blending took a lot of time there. The blending that into the blade took a lot of time. But overall, once you got to the actual blade part, that was super easy. And I think I'm using 60 grit sandpaper on this. And I had to go back to the cuts all to get those tips shaped down a little bit more.
overall sanding this, I think sanding the whole prop probably took me like three days. So here I've got it all sanded out and I'm looking for dips, um, things like that, that I need to smooth out. And a lot of times you can feel them better than you can see them because the wood grain will play tricks on your eyes. So balancing, it was actually not terribly bad. Not bad at all. But it is kind of hard to decide where you want to sand to take that weight off. You look for places that have like a little bit of a dip in it or I've decided there that I have a little bump right in that spot that I can take out. But you're also comparing it to the other side. And because I didn't have a very good template and I had to do so much by hand, then I really had to kind of judge, look at one side, look at the other side. Do they look about the same? Do I have a bump here? There's just so much material to work with that actually it made it super hard to tell where I need to take the weight out from to make it look symmetrical. It, it was a little rough. <laughs> so I think this ended up I think I said a six inch hub thickness. So on a, generally for props, I do a two and a quarter inch hub thickness or I do a three inch hub thickness. Uh, the, and those are my sweet spots. I like those two props, but you go any more than a three inch hub thickness and all of a sudden you have a ton of material to work with, but something that's an inch and a half thick, like a half VW prop, you have almost nothing to work with. Um, <laughs> so I hit both, I, you know, usually hit both extremes. Um, but I only make a prop like this. I usually make one to two, like maybe every three years. So it's not something I do a lot. I don't have a, a set process for how I do this. I'm kind of like, Hmm, how do I take care of this problem? Hmm, how am I going to get through this one? It's it's a, it's a challenge when it's not something you do every day. Mahogany is great because it, it is a lighter wood. If I would have made this out of maple, I probably couldn't have physically done it, picking it up and doing all the things. Um, but mahogany is lightweight, which is also interesting when you balance it. So there I'm two pieces of sandpaper off. <laughs> but um, because it's lightweight, you have to take like on a maple prop, I know that that would be just a few minutes of sanding. On mahogany, because the wood's lighter, when you take off a little amount, then it doesn't, you know, weigh as much. So the material you take off doesn't weigh as much. So there, I don't know if you can see it, but I have some bolts stuck through the bolt pattern to kind of, just like I did the sandpaper on one side. So when I do pieces of sandpaper on vertical, on horizontal, I'll stick a bolt through the bolt pattern just to kind of see roughly how much weight I need to take off. And it was off quite a bit vertically, actually.
but you just have to keep working at it. And this is where I could really only hold it up for like a minute, two minutes at a time <laughs> on a like a 72 inch prop with a three inch hub thickness. I can do the whole thing and never set it down. This one, I was like one minute. I can do a minute. <laughs> then I'd I'd give myself a little bit of a break. And I'm like, okay. Then I'd sand another minute and then I'd have to put it back down. <laughs> And a 72 inch prop probably weighs six to seven pounds. And like I said, this one probably weighed 20 to 30 pounds. I probably should have weighed it, but I was pretty focused on getting it done. <laughs> so I did get it balanced. Um, they wanted white tips on this that was original to um, what was on that plane. And they sent me stickers. They sent me original stickers to go on it, which is great. Um, and then we got top coat on it and the finished product looked pretty good. So it was a lot of work, but it was completely worth it. And I was really happy with how it turned out. So there you go.